here we sit in 2016. And John Lennon, who was, uh, I guess, a fairly important cultural icon for his time, with some, some influence even today, uh, has become a cartoon character. Uh, Tinkerbell, uh, something, not real. Prince of Peace, savior of mankind, when in fact he was a, a real man and uh, tortured, a genius of pain more than uh, the Prince of Peace. And he's got an estate that's run by that bitch, Yoko Ono, who I've known a long time. I don't like her one bit. I feel that she was uh, usury of Mr. Lennon and kept him kind of like a bird in a gilded cage. He was uh, a weak character in many ways and was easily led. Lost his mother as a child and uh, and 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 uh, wanted to be insulated and protected from the world. So this opportunistic infection called Yoko Ono made her way in and cashed in big time. Back in the 90s, I wrote what turned out to be my most popular book called Lennon in America. Now, this book was based on the the diaries, the secret diaries that John Lennon kept. Yeah, take a look at that, man. But this is the old one. We got a new cover coming and a new title. From Harry Nielsen, the singer, who was a friend of mine, I got copies of John's diaries from 70, 71, September 71 to 1980. And the diaries told a completely different history and story about who John Lennon was, what his relationships with the other Beatles were, what his relationship with his wife was going to be, how she was entertaining herself when he was uh, not around with the various and sundry activities. And, it was the, and they, were, they were about to divorce even when he got shot. Uh, so this book goes into uh, all those details that have never been out. And this book pissed off and continues to piss off these uh, people that are fixated on seeing John Lennon as, as, as this idol. This, uh, but every, every idol has a feet of, a foot, feet of clay. You know, he's a man. I don't like that shit where they worship these people like they're, you know, they're just maybe a musician or an artist. I, everybody has their heroes, and heroes are good when they're young, but I mean, if you hold out to that shit when you're like 60, 65, 70, like I see, see these people on Facebook doing, I, I get a little concerned about them, you know, and I think Lennon would too. But anyway, Lennon in America, big book for me. I've gone over it. I've added a whole bunch more stuff. And it's now called Lennon in the USA. And uh, it talks about those last, that last decade of his life and what was really going on with John Lennon. And it's not particularly pretty, but it's not anything that I made up. I'm a journalist. I don't write fairy stories. And I'm not a spin doctor for anybody and I'm in nobody's employ. So I got a hold of the diaries. I went to Liverpool and I talked to his family that no one really ever talked to, like his uh, uh, sisters, and I wrote a book with his sister, a whole other story, and his aunties and uncles and cousins, and uh, got a lot of his private correspondence, put all this together in a book which is now coming out soon. When, we don't know because there's so much rigmarole involved with the digitizing and the putting them online and the, it's, uh, it's a lot of stuff to do and I've got 30 books to do it with, not just one, but Lennon in America is an important book. And I hope that w when you have a chance to read it, no matter what generation you're from, because I know Lennon gets new fans all the time, that you'll look at this with an objective mind and forget the fairy tale, forget the bullshit, just blank page, you know? Keep a Zen mind, 
open yourself up to a possibility that John Lennon wasn't quite the cartoon character that he is today. Car air freshener and uh, baby clothes and all the things that Yoko Ono has chosen, because I guess she doesn't have enough money to rip off the estate with and do more shit. So, Lennon in the USA, uh, by Jeffrey Giuliano, based on the lost, unpublished, long lost diaries of John Lennon. I hope you'll read it and can let me know what you think.